Hello and welcome to CamTrack 64. We'll do a quick demo on how to insert a segment list into a drawing. Okay, we have a cam here with two cam paths, one on the top surface and one on the cylinder surface that we have created in SolidWorks. And in SolidWorks we also have a drawing started that we want to insert the segment list on. So with that active, let's go back to cam tracks and then we'll go to CAD insert segment list into drawing and that opens up the dialog box now we have the barrel path active in cam tracks so we can get the active path settings which is going to get the path number and the number of segments the active part and get that data and then we just need to click create table in CAD and here is our segment list. And now we can go back to Cantrex and get the other segment. Let's close this. We'll switch to the top path. Go to CAD, insert segment list, and get the active path settings. You see it switched it to path number two. And we have two segments in this path. So create the table in CAD again and then back to SolidWorks and here is our list so we have both of our segment lists here the barrel path and then the top path and let's go back to the drawing I want to show you where that information is coming from if you go to file and properties on the part then the configuration specific all the data that is being showed in those tables are listed here. So for example the start angle and end angle of the first motion on the first path, so this number one here, the first one is the path number, the second one is the segment number, so we go from 0 to 140 and 2 inches to 8 inches. So that's where that information is coming from. If we go to the drawing we can look at that a little better. So if we double click on on that it brings up a, a toolbar and the link to property is essentially what we're doing in the model view and then we can see those properties. Thank you for listening.